So I had a patient about two or three months ago, a 42-year-old Caucasian male, uh, came in with his eye, uh, one eye severely dilated the right eye and um, didn't know um, what brought it on, had Googled it beforehand, uh, was kind of freaking out about it, um, checked his vision, had his contact lenses in, vision was normal, uh, right eye pupil could not come down at all, uh, optic nerve looked good. Uh, Blood vessels look good. Um, other cranial nerve testing really didn't show anything. Um, we pried a little further into his history and he had gotten a contact lens stuck in his eye a couple of days prior. And over the course of about a day, he had been using some eye drops and did not know what kind of eye drops he was using. I did put in 1% uh, pilocarpine and it really didn't bring the pupil down at all. And so the lack of denervation hypersensitivity led me to think perhaps he had just pharmacologically dilated his pupil. But you still, you read about that and you think, I got this, this is easy. But when it's a, a young person in your chair at the time, you still think, oh, I don't wanna miss something weird, you know? And so um, had his wife read the name of the eye drop that he was taking, and it was a topical decongestant, uh, which had a known side effect of uh, madriasis. And he had admitted to keeping his contact in, but pouring about half the bottle into his eye. So he had a reservoir effect. So I was able to get his contact lens uh, out of his eye. We threw that contact away, gave him a sample, uh, called him later that afternoon just, uh, just because I thought it was good form. And um, he's been doing fine ever since. Reservoir effect of a drop soaked into a contact lens. It happens.